what's up divas and divos what's up first of all i am behooved. like i cannot believe that we are doing another video together like seriously they must really do like me i am liking them too yeah, we about to do another wild african wig you guys they got like some really nice wigs really good quality they have really good reviews you know what i'm saying the um price ranges is like you know it all depends on what your budget is and it really does all depend on what you have purchased for wild african it's like mid-range but you know the saying get what you pay for however you could pay like thousands of dollars hundreds of dollars on a wig it could still come out raggedy because it could be you the person like you know what i'm saying like girl you could just take it off and toss it not even brush it not even wash it just like you know definitely should not be wearing a wig if you're doing all of that you should definitely be banned from the wig wearing gay like you should only be subjected to wearing like synthetic wigs that's what i was thinking you know what i'm saying oh, with that girl let me show y'all how your wig come and then we're gonna just jump right into this video because i'm really excited i did bleach it and i did pre-pluck it but it does come bleached for you but you know your girl likes to go in and do her own little thing that's just me but you don't have to you definitely don't have to but i do so, so this you know. is what the inside of the cap looks like it has combs right here the nape and i know y'all seen that wow african black elastic removable band from the last wig video that i did for them their elastic band was in the proper what? spot let me show y'all how y'all wig come and we're gonna just get to styling and profiling okay Hey guys, when you receive your package from Wow African, it'll come in the standard black box which says Professional Hair Beauty Plaza. You'll also receive a pink satin satchel which you can store your unit in. Wow African will provide different amenities. The ones that I received in my package was some golden bow rhinestone hair barrettes which say sweet and star. Wild African does have flyaway and frizz tamer, which is great for taming those flyaway hairs and also using to press or hot comb press your hair. Wild African will also provide a deluxe wig cap, which comes with two pieces, and one of their styling combs, which is great to style your unit with and part it. In your package, you'll find one of their pamphlets, which is the aftercare instructions. The unit that I received is a beautiful golden honey brown 13 by 6 20 inch lace frontal. This unit is 150% in volume density and the color is just absolutely gorgeous. This is their Swiss lace which is very thin and transparent and will definitely melt into your skin. You can order the unit pre-bleach, which will give you less work to do. As you guys can tell here, all of the knots have been lifted, and these units also do come pre-plucked for a more natural hairline. This one is a 13 by six, which gives you 13 inches across and six inches in depth to part, which is plenty of parting space. For an extra added ice, you can also get one of their removable black elastic bands, which states Wow African. Make sure you check them out. They have plenty of units to choose from, and they're definitely always popping and trending. I'll leave all the information below. So let's go ahead and put this wig on by Wild African Girl. I'm excited. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh my God. They work with your girl again. Hello. So first things first, you know, I already bleached this. Even though it did come pre-bleached, a girl like everything to be perfect. I don't know, but that's just me. But look at all this part in space, girl. You can really part your hair, girl. And this hair is so soft. So I'm going to just use this rat tail comb and my wax stick. And I'm going to just go ahead. I like these wax sticks. Wild African one is definitely a good wax stick. I just didn't want to use it because it was brand new, you know. Save the best for last. I'm going to use it when I need to, okay? But anyway, so I've used the wax stick in the part. And then I went ahead and used my little $20 hot comb from Amazon. But you can pick this up also at Walmart for $20. It goes up to 450 degrees. But girl, make sure you are really careful when hot combing your hair. I decided to leave the lace on while hot combing because I really didn't want no new year, new scars on my forehead. So, you know what I'm saying? Normally, I do this on a wig mannequin, but for today's video, I'm actually going to do it and show you guys on myself. Now, 
I'm just going to flatten the hair. This will allow your hair to lay much more flush to your head. I'm making another part. I do this because if I make another part on the opposite side, it'll allow the opposite side to have a little bit more lift and volume as you guys see right there. So that's my little trick of the trade. This is making sure the wig fits properly. So as you see, I did part above my ear because I really don't want it to be overlapping. And I took these really cool scissors that my mom came with, which are called thread snips, to try out in this video and they actually work amazing. It doesn't give you no blunt, straight cut. So I highly suggest looking on Amazon and getting you a pair, okay? These are good for cutting the lace. If you can't use the razor method, because I can't, the eyebrow trimmer method, try these snips, these thread snips. They come in so many different prices, girl. You know, but you know, if you get them real cheap, they might not last, but I'm just saying. I cut the lace in three parts. That makes it just much easier to cut. And I'm just gonna snip away at the hairline. These scissors really do work good. They're not hard to handle. They're super sharp. And you know, like I say, the world runs on Dunkin' Donuts, okay? So now I'm going to go ahead and take my comb, my rat tail comb, and I'm going to just part across the hairline. And I'm going to be using some of this got to be high insta hold. I did also purchase this from Amazon for $5.99. But if you use this subscribe and save, you'll save $2 extra if you subscribe and save. And you don't have to get it every month. I set mine to every three months because I don't foresee myself running through a bottle of hairspray like that. I spray it underneath and then I also take it and spray in between the part and I use my blow dryer on cool to medium heat and then I use my rat tail comb to press into it and you just repeat on the opposite side. If you're wondering how do I feel about the hairspray versus my other Glam Force hairspray by got to be, honestly it's the same thing. Well let me just say this, the one in the pink can with the cheetah print it says 48 hour hold. This one only says 24. I have not wore the wig for over, you know, 24 hours. So I wouldn't really even be able to tell you. But I will tell you that the one in the pink can that is the Glam Force one by Got To Be, it is hard to find. You can find it on Amazon and it will cost a little bit more than this bottle. But you know, it's, you know, it all depends on you as a person, how your body chemistry is. Now to sculpt my baby hairs or wispy hairs and my sideburn hairs, I use the Salon Selective Dolly Mousse, which is available at the Dollar Tree. It's really a good product. Plus, it doesn't lift the wig, so that's why I always use it. also going to be using it to help curl the hair so I just take a little bit and I rub it between my hands and into the hair and I just brush the hair as you guys noticed I already did the opposite side I'm just gonna spray some of that hairspray on it and take like a nice considerable amount and curl it and then pin it this is the trick if you want your curls to stay make sure you pin it until the curls and uh, the hair at least cools down that way your curls will stay and if you don't have any type of wig clips, then I suggest you go to the Dollar Tree and get you some because they're only a dollar. But if you can't do that while styling right now, just hold the hair for like 10 to 15 seconds and the curls will be all right and the hairspray. And that's it, you guys. Voila, almost done. I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year because this is the new hair for the new year. I love Wild African. I'm so happy they decided to work with your girl again. They must really, really do like it, girl. Okay. But anyway, let's just go ahead and finish this video and I'll be back with my commentaries. Every time you slam the door, I would be the richest girl alive. But you didn't know me, all you wanted was a game to play And you couldn't handle that I had my ways Around your mind tricks and your side tricks, I'm a winner, babe But you didn't win this, it's a part of the game Yeah, I beat you at your game And if you were me you would do the same Man, I really love to play And now that I won it, I am loving this wig. This wig is really hot, okay? So this is like a banger. This is one way to bring in the new year. Like definitely this one right here is the new year hair. Out of both of the wigs that I just reviewed for them, I can't say which one is my favorite. I know the wigs that I've reviewed from them in the past were not really my favorite. You know, they have to, you know, step their game up. But, you know, 
I can't really say because both are different textures. You know, I do love like that yakky type of hair texture. I love it. And then I also do love this entire wig. I like the color of it. So I can't really say which one was my favorite. I like them both. They both fit really nice. This one fits really, really good. I didn't even have to add any of my um, pressed powder to it. The lace like basically melted right into my skin tone and the lace texture was really nice and thin. Also, the hairline was great. Even though I did pre-tweeze some of it, girl, it still was good as is. You guys seen it in the video of where I showed you guys how your wig comes. So, you know, I really don't have any complaints about Wild African. This wig is very pretty. And it's funny because the last video that I did, I had kind of like a shirt on that was like a rustic color, like brownish orange color. So today is like a coral peach. And I thought it went well with the hair color. Like, okay, Wild African, I see you. You guys definitely have to check them out. They got some really great wigs. Also check out other videos on YouTube. There are quite a lot of them. I will definitely rate it a 10. So I love you guys. Happy New Year. I hope you guys bring it in with a bang. And on that note, stay diva and delicious. And I'll see you guys in the next one. It's really, it's really cute though.